so I found this bulldozer to be totally awesome and thought that I wanted to make tracks for a different track vehicle. So if you want to check out the rest of this video, I'll show you how to use Tinkercad to make a tracked vehicle. Alright, let's make ourselves a tracked vehicle. First thing I want is a cube, and I'm going to make that cube 3 centimeters or 30 millimeters by 5 and by 10. Once I got them groovy, I want to add the ends to my tracks. I'm going to do that by hitting the W, and I'm going to drag a round roof out there. We need to rotate that round roof. Remember to get to the insides to make it a snap nice and easy, and then get that adjusted so that it fits perfectly. Because our height this way was 10, that means we need to go 5 on this end cap. Put a W and change your work plane to this end. Grab that one we just did. Do Control C and Control V to copy it. Pull them all the way to that other end. And then we want to use the awesome mirror tool to adjust, mirror, and flip that little critter so he's the way we want. Shut off the mirror tool when you're done. Use the arrow keys to nudge him into place. When you've got all three of those together, and I'm actually going to go... Um, Select them all and do the Align tool. Adjust, Align, Snap, Snap. Oops, don't want that. Grr. But that's why they created. We're going to do Undo. With the parts all together like that, I'm going to make them all red just so it's nice and consistent. And now I'm going to cut out the little pieces on the top. Check out this cool trick. W to set the work plane, set a round roof on top. I am going to tell you that the smart size to do this is 2 by 1. Once you've got it like that, rotate it 180 degrees so that it's cutting underneath. We're going to lower it so it sinks in, and then we're going to use the arrow keys to nudge it all the way to that edge. And then this is where you get cool. You go in 0.5, because the math will work out just perfect. You make it a hole, switch back to grid of 1. You couldn't see me click it, but I promise you I did. Control C, Control V, tap that arrow key twice, and boom, you are moving those across. Uh, now two at a time. Pop, pop, pop. That's too many. So I had to switch to 0.5 so that my gap stayed the same. But I like being able to count by twos, so I don't mind the extra click so that I can do those two at a time. And last but not least, I have now got a really nifty set of tracks made super quickly. I can hit W to get rid of that grid. And then when I select that whole bunch and I do group, I have got my tracks now cut out. If you want to get fancy and cut out the tracks along the side, check out this trick. I'm going to put my workspace or work face on top again. I'm going to bring this around. I'm going to flip it. And then I want to make this 2x2. Two two. So I'm just going to hold this down and hold shift so that it counts down until it says 2x2. Two two. Now I need to stretch it wider so that it'll be big enough. Of course, that threw the other one out of whack. So now it's 2x2. Two two. It's where I want. I'm going to nudge it down two chunks. I'm going to make it a hole. And then watch this. If we nudge it over... It is in the perfect spot for that first hole. Control C, Control V. Come over, and this time I'm going to drag it down. So we can even get fancy and make these go around the treads. If you want to continue with that all the way around, you may. I'm not going to. I'm just showing you how to do it. When you're happy with whatever you do make, hit group and it cuts it out. And you can either say, yeah, you like it, or you can do control Z and undo and fix it again. At this point, I'm going to cut my track out uh, so that I can put the wheels inside to make it look even more fascinating. I'm going to do that by hitting W for the work plane here. Bring my cylinder down. 
because I sunk in a millimeter, uh, because this was a two centimeter, I'm going to choose a seven uh, millimeter cylinder for what I'm going to cut out. That way I can line them up and I will still have material on every side so that uh, it stays solid. Make sure it pokes through both sides. Do that same thing at the other end. Control C and Control V. Drag him all the way down. And then I'm going to put a rectangle in between those so that it cuts out the entire chunk. So by turning that into a hole and that into a hole and then the other half into a hole, Shut off that work plane just because I don't like seeing it. Select the whole thing and group it. And shazam. We have got a sweet track. And you can insert some wheels in there to start making your cool item. So, there is how to make your awesome track. Now I would like you to try and make something awesome. If you do, make sure you share it with us. Uh, please follow us at HL Mod Tech on Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter. And then also, if you can, please subscribe to HL Mod Tech here on YouTube.